Well, are you looking for a perfect clubbing or night out scent? Well, let's just say, turn up the volume. So today we're going to be taking a look at the newest release from the house of Polo 4 Man. This here is Red Extreme. Now this particular fragrance, uh, the perfumer here is Olivier Guillotine. He also introduced the two previous reds, Red and Red in Tons. Now Red Extreme is a gourmand, it's an oriental gourmand territory kind of a vibe. It's going to be very warm, very sensual, great for evening wear, great for those cool fall and winter you know, months ahead. So this is definitely one that you should check out right now. Even though this was released, I believe in April of this year, which was kind of like springtime, I think it's perfectly, you can actually wear this all year round, but I think it's mostly conducive of the cooler days. This is definitely gonna be on the sweeter side of the spectrum. Think of fragrances like Eros by Versace, One Million by Paco Rabanne, uh, think about Ultra Mile from Jean-Paul Gaultier. It, you know, the note breakdown on this one here is pretty simple. You have your sweet blood orange with coffee and the ebony wood in the dry down. I think it's kind of linear. Uh, you're gonna get more of a woodsy dry down as it gets closer to the second hour of the fragrance. But all in all, it's a linear fragrance that's gonna give you that sweet, creamy, very inviting and really playful vibe. I really enjoy this fragrance. I think it smells fantastic. Um, be between this one, red and red intense, this is definitely my favorite. If you don't like sweet kind of fragrances like the one I mentioned to you before, if you perhaps don't go out clubbing or you don't go, you know, dancing or you think this is, this might come across to you as a little bit juvenile or too playful. I, I think they did a fantastic job with this one. I think this is not going to be, if you thought maybe the, the bubblegum feel that you get with one million, some people get uh, a very juvenile almost feeling with those fragrances. I definitely don't get that here. I think this is good enough that you can actually wear this, like I said, all year round. I would not wear this in the heat, heat of summer, but other than that, spring, early spring, fall and winter, you could definitely pull this one off. And I think it's definitely more of an evening scent, dresser occasion. If you're going out, perhaps dating, if you're going out to a, to a dinner or dancing, I think this is perfect for clubbing and dancing that you really want to exude that playfulness, that sensuality. This fragrance here has it all and I think you will not regret if you try it. This fragrance here, I, I think they took out the cranberry note, which you got with the red and I believe red intense. They switched it out to the sweet blood orange, which I think gives this one a really nice fruity nuance. The same kind of fruity nuance, creamy and fruity and sensual nuance that you get with Ultra Mal from Jean-Paul Gaultier. So if you like that fragrance, which by the way, I think this one here goes neck and neck with. The only difference here is I think perhaps Ultramal has a little bit better performance when it comes to the performance, which I'll talk about it right now. And just so you know, the coffee is really mashed in here. You're not gonna get a really prominent coffee note if you're thinking you know, of different, you know, different coffee-based fragrances. This here is not gonna give you that in-your-face coffee, you know, accord, but it is mashed in there. You can kind of get the hints, but it's a very linear, sweet, fruity, creamy, woodsy, uh, spicy kind of oriental fragrance that I do enjoy when the cold weather hits. I'm gonna be really rocking this one. It might even make my top 10 winter this year. By the way, before I get into the, um, what do I get as far as performance with this fragrance, I just want to let you know that it comes in two sizes. You get the 75 mil, and you get this one right here, which is the 4.2. This can actually be found, even though it was released in April of this year, you can actually find this now readily available at discount websites. But depending on the size and depending on the website, you're gonna find anywhere between 50 and $70 for these, which is really not bad, especially right now with the holidays, you can find them heavily discounted. So happy searching. As far as performance with this one here, I got about six to seven hours longevity, about two hours push as far as projection, which is really not bad. And the sillage was moderate to good, which is really not bad if people got closer to you, cl close encounters, they're definitely gonna get whiffs of this fragrance on and off. Get a day's work of the fragrance, can't complain, you can always reapply it, but I say six to seven hours is quite good for this one. It's more on the masculine end of the spectrum, but I think women can also enjoy this one because it's sweet, it's playful, and it's almost gourmand. I think age groups, 25 and up, um, but I think a high school or a senior high school could definitely rock this um, right into college. So anyone can really rock this fragrance. It's, it's, it's got that universal appeal. Uh, unless you don't like really sweet, sweet fragrances, you, you're not gonna like this. But other than that, I think everybody will enjoy it. All in all, this is a really, really nice release from the House of Poe. I do enjoy from all the reds out there, the red, the intense, and this one, this is definitely my favorite one. Not groundbreaking, not trendsetter. This is not a fragrance that's gonna break the mold or be like something you know that hasn't been done before. 
but it is a solid release, and especially for the price points that you can find this now. I would not pay retail, but $50, $70 for this, definitely worth checking out. If you were looking for a new night out scent, perhaps this is the one you should look into. So what do you think about the house of Polo Ralph Lauren? Have you tried Polo Red Extreme? Let me know your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on this fragrance and other releases of Polo. Which ones are your top three favorites from the house? If any of you watching this video actually likes to go out night out, clubbing, please list down in the comment section below what are your top five go-to night out clubbing scents. I'd love to read your comments. So that's all I have for you today on Polo Red Extreme. If you haven't yet, please like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. In the meantime, you know what to do. Keep on spraying. I'll see you in the next one.